them that God chose them. So the misunderstanding brought forth a beautiful outcome. And Apostle Paul, if you read it, sent letters to Peter apologizing. He kept telling Peter, I don't know what's the problem. I don't know why you're so stubborn. I don't know why you're so angry with me. I'm just doing my work of God. Even though you might not understand, just believe. Look at what I'm doing. And he even had the nerve to say, gifts. He gave Peter money for his ministry to build. Think about that. Think about that. All right, I'm going to close. I want to leave you with that one picture of Ananias. And this is for you to take to your ministry when you get your ministry and you want to teach someone something. Show them Ananias. If Ananias could forgive Paul on the road of Damascus and bring him healing so he may receive his sight after all that Paul have done to the church. Think about this. Can you not forgive somebody for backbiting or lying or miscommunicating or whatever the case may be? Think about that. Think about that. This is something you could teach in school about forgiveness. I never seen it that way too last night. Last night God showed me other night and said, this man of all people had the right to say, no, nah, uh-uh. He killed my church family, three of them, four of them right there. He even stoned Stephen to death and put his coat right on him. I can't forgive someone that did that. And he's stoning him to death. <laughs> but us church folks, us church folks can't forgive somebody for stepping on your stepping on your little foot. What kind of God is that? Can you bring that to the world? If you can't forgive in your heart, you got no way in ministry. You got no ministry. It's going to crumble. It's going to crumble because somebody's going to take you off. And they're going to have the blessing for you. And if you can't forgive them, you're going down. Amen. God bless you.